Little place. Oh. Yes. Hi guys, this is Kelly with Good Dogs Minnesota, and this is a quick clip of Blue and I working on his e collar down or down with the e collar. Um, this is our second time working on this behavior with the e collar. If you notice too, we're in the we're in what's called the escape phase. So you will notice that I'm not telling him to down. Um, I'm simply pressing the button, putting pressure on the e-collar, and then guiding him into a down. This is how I show him what he needs to do to turn off the stim and get a reward. Blue is very familiar with the down command already without the e-collar. I've also helped him by priming him with a lot of repetitions of down prior to this lesson before adding the e-collar. Once he begins to offer the behavior when he feels the e-collar pressure, I'll move on to adding the verbal cue. I do this later in the video. Down can be more difficult for dogs to learn using the e-collar because up until this point, everything we have done with the collar, we have asked him to physically move away from the e-collar pressure to get a reward. Whether it was move towards me, move to place, or move away from the chickens, he's, I've always guided him away from the e-collar pressure. When working on down, instead I'm asking him to stay put and settle into the pressure to relieve, to relieve it. Because of this learning contrast, we have to work slower and also work at lower levels. Usually outside, Blue works at a five to seven out of a hundred, and here I'm working at a four. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.